Hey yo, and let's go! Welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today we're back playing Pharaoh, a new era. Uh, last episode we did the tutorials, uh, Noop and Thinnis. Now we're on to <laughs> watch it. There we go. If you're enjoying, uh, if you're enjoying the new series, it's not a permanent series, but a new series nonetheless. Feel free to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell so you never miss out an episode. Also, if you've allowed YouTube to see your name, you'll see it scrolling up on the right side of the screen now. To be on that list, be subscribed and stay subscribed. So, let's hop in here. Let's go. Alright, so we're going to need a population of 600 and 10 modest homesteads. Let's hop in here. Alright. You're right. Okay, so yeah, I don't like listening to the narration, but so we're gonna slow this bad boy down. Actually, might even pause it. So we're gonna have a few new things to work with here. Let's take a look around our map. It's a pretty small map. Yeah, a really small map. Okay, got some hippos over here. We gotta be careful of. I don't remember if we can cross water on this one. It's really not going to matter. We're going to be building. What are we going to build? I think we're going to build right in here. So let's think about where we want to enter. You got to kind of plan your rows as you go. Um, I think I'm going to plan for this to go in here. And then I'm going to roadblock that here. So like I said, you got to be able to build work camps. They can go into here through this. But they, uh, the wandering AI cannot. All right, so let's figure out what we want to do here. Um, am I going to do my efficient block? No, I think we're just going to smatter some homes down. What do we need for population? I think it was said 600. So we might be able to get away with just like two small rows of housing. Yeah. So here's what we're going to do. I might not, I might just do one one row now that I'm thinking about it. So I'm going to leave this for water. So let's stick a water there. Um, we're going to give a two and then let's go up to like. Let's go up to 72 and then I'll delete whatever I need to delete. Let's go back down to here. And we're going to throw a roadblock here. We'll open up stuff as we need it. Um, I think one water will be enough for now. Um, I don't know if this needs to be roadblocked yet. Um, usually if I've got to build industry somewhere else, I'll throw a four block of uh, people there. And that's about it. So let's see here. Um, I think. Let's get some of the basics up first before I do anything else. Um, not entertainment. We're going to get into services. So some of the first things I start to throw up are all the basics, right? So your architect post, your your firehouse, um, police, physician, throw that there. Like I said, I'm not going to do anything super pretty here just because there's just no point. Um, this is still kind of even like a tutorial ish mission. Um, there's just no need for it. Um, greenery. Um, we might want to put a second water. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Let's uh, let's get this first road here. Can you you need to go up one more and then uh, down, right? Yes. Nope, you cannot go there. Probably should have seen if I could fit one in there first. Uh, yeah, I need to be up one more, don't I? I do. All right. Let's bring this road up one more and delete the bottom row. Don't want to waste too much space. It's not as important um, in these earlier missions as they are in the later ones. Uh, we're going to throw a to have these be worked. You have to have a um, work camp. Uh, work camps are pretty ugly, so you got to be careful how close you really put them or you need to put them near some really pretty stuff. Um, and that means we're also going to need a greenery. I think we're probably just going to road the greenery out from here. 
and put a bazaar in the middle. Put the granary over here. We're going to accept it all right off the bat. All right, let's start. Let's speed up a little bit here. It's one and a half. You want to be careful how big you build, because depending on how far they have to walk from, there's no mini map. Now they think about it. There's no mini map. There used to be a mini map. Depending on how far they have to walk up here, um, you might be kind of in trouble with how long it takes them to get up there and things will start to burn down. See, they actually were coming from the top. <laughs> I didn't even recognize it. Uh, yeah. All right, let's get them in there. My work camps will start. So here's let's um, let's slow it down to a half and I'll show you the overseer. So let's start with the worker ones, right? So it'll, in the other one, it was a little bit easier to understand what it was trying to have you do. But at least in this one, I'm just maxing out architect in fire and then water supply and then um bazaars because those those things need to happen later on religion will play, play a bigger part but in these early ones it just doesn't um again i have the the road blocking here because i don't want them to be traveling out here Uh, you know, talking about ratios like you can't you really don't know how much food these guys are going to take. You just you don't know. Um, yeah, <laughs> so that kind of stinks, but probably should get this festival square up. Uh, let's go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, stick it. I don't know. Somewhere over here. Because you're going to need it anyways. The religious overseer is kind of an important one here too. So you can kind of see if they're mad at you. If these guys, if the gods get mad at you, they start really destroying stuff. Um, I'm not going to th throw a festival just yet, but it's important to be able to keep an eye on that, um, especially if you're like me and you play on <laughs> times five really fast. Um, you got to pay attention to what the kingdom's paying because people won't move in if you're paying less most of the time. And things just cost money can change your tax rate, but again, too high of a tax rate, people will take off. Um, so this will tell you how much food you have, but not like how much you're going through. So take that with a grain of salt. This will tell you what your um, entertainment is. Uh, treasury, we already talked about that. Political overseer. Um, we'll talk about this when that time actually comes, but sometimes the kingdom will request stuff from you, uh, whether it's an item or money ratings this is how you complete the mission this one doesn't have any of those rating issues it just need the housing and the modest housing what else um commerce this is how you can stockpile we'll talk about that a little more later i can shut off industries if i need to um this one will kind of give you just an overview of everything yeah and we're not going to be using an army in this one so, whoop, I totally hit the wrong one. All right, we are going to sit on five here for a little bit because there's just things we have to wait to happen. Probably could put some entertainment up. What are they looking for? Still just waiting for food. I actually don't think this is going to be enough figs. No, maybe it will be. All right, so malaria, um, the way malaria works. So don't you're not going to always need to put up an apothecary. Um, if you are something that's got like these reeds and stuff, you are absolutely going to need it. So we'll put that up. Uh, one should take care of this more than enough. Um, so you're going to see she's going to come over and get the food, bring it over to the bazaar, and then they'll walk around. Take a little sip of my tea whilst I'm waiting. So now she'll go and start to feed them. Um, they will run out of food after a certain amount of time. They can only carry so much. Um, like I like I kind of thought was going to end up happening. That is not enough figs. I'm not sure how many farms um, one war camp can deal with. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, probably would have been a good idea to know, but um, I'm actually going to bump this up a little bit. Um, so you'll see that it kind of just turned into looking something different. Uh, sometimes you'll find yellow flowers here where you can build on land and irrigate. But we are really, 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 really early. So 
can't imagine it's going to have that yet. All right, so we'll put a bunch of them out. Um, what else do we want to talk about? Oh, we probably ought to check to see if Osiris is happy. Osiris is the god of uh, agriculture, I think is what they name him. Um, doesn't really say it here, but he will absolutely destroy your farms. Um, I am going to hold a festival for him. Because we need to make sure that we're still uh, bringing in the stuffs. Uh, I'm not going to bother checking like the overlays for fire and stuff because I, I, I already know this group is fine. We're going to set up some booths though. Maybe one right here is probably going to be a nice call. Let's throw one right there. And we'll throw that in here. I didn't even build my... um. Probably ought to look to build... Where is it? My village palace so that I can see things. Um, do I want to put it over here? Yeah, we're just going to put it over here. It's a pretty big uh, unemployment workforce. It's not going to punish me too bad in the earlier missions, but it will become a problem later if you do not take care of it. Let's start uh, getting rid of little crappy houses that are doing nothing. They won't be able to evolve in their own thing. Usually once I clear them out, I would put uh, beautification type stuff there, but we don't have beautification just yet. It's got a juggler thing. Yeah, I guess we're just kind of waiting. We'll see how much food this gets. We really want this to be full and then lasting halfway. She looks like we need to start our industry with our... Um, Mm, you're saying you're there. Okay, there we go. So clay pit. Clay just generally has to be near water. Normally I wouldn't build it this close to like where I'm living, but again, these are kind of like tutorial missions. So yeah. Um, It's also not a one-to-one -one thing. I don't think either. Um, Yeah. And I'm going to kind of just throw up a... Warehouse or a storage yard. So this is probably the most important piece because sometimes if you would have this as everything, what would end up happening is like they would send everything here. A couple ways you can control what you have. Normally, I wouldn't keep the raw with the finished. The finished goods would probably be closer to where everybody's living. These circles over here, you can click on and say how much you want. So like three quarters, half, quarter. So I'm actually going to leave them in half and half for now and then turn them to accept half of. So they're going to bring up the clay and then they'll be able to uh, get pottery and then he'll be able to buy pottery. Um, we actually look like we can probably get another granary up if we would like. Um, because this food just kind of sat there uh, and the old one, it would actually just look like it would kill them. <laughs> but it looks like they're, they will now be able to uh, bring this food over here. So we should have more than enough food. Um, pottery will start making its way out. I'm not going to delete any more until the pottery starts getting given out. Um, mainly because I don't I don't even think one's going to be enough for this group. I actually think I'm going to need two. How are we doing for unemployment? 37. That's that's a little bit better. Oh, I need at least two potters. OK, so. So I wonder if this is kind of telling you that one clay pit can satisfy two potters. It's kind of it's kind of implying that. It doesn't really say anywhere necessarily. Um, I really don't want to put them that close. Yeah, I figured it. Just go ahead. It's fine. Yeah, so they, they want me to look at the the worker overlay. Um, yeah, it, it becomes more important later on. Yeah, right. These ones are not changing at all yet. Uh, beautification actually would have fixed that pretty quickly. I don't want to keep speeding up, but kind of just want to sit there. There we go. Some beautification. Um, I'm not a beauty builder. We have talked about this in the past. I'll probably get away with a nice little small one in here. How about you? Beautiful. Uh, can we get a nice little... There we go. Stick a couple of those guys in there. Um, really, the probably the most par powerful one is the plaza. Um, it's just... Yeah, just beautifies everything really, really quickly. Probably need to think about getting another. 
Um, I know he's still fine with us. Let's get to the 600. As they progress through, they'll be just fine. Uh, he is not a happy camper over here. He says other people are a problem, but uh, I actually think he might be the problem. <laughs> um, maybe we could probably just throw a uh, wait, 10 modest homesteads. Um, might be actually worth just getting rid of the really crappy ones. So like, you kind of have to like be able to visually picture which ones are the bad ones. Um, I am probably gonna throw a nice big. Oh, that is that is really big. That's cool. That is kind of pretty. Um, actually want one a little bit smaller than that. Stick that right in there. And a nice nice artwork that'll take care of them, and then we can deal with. Uh, plazas. Some people kind of like people I used to watch that play this game. They uh, they really would like swear by the gardens. Um, you can do some really cool stuff with it. All right, so that should take care of most of our people happiness there. Um, I can't really do a whole lot with the entertainment, unfortunately. Um, I don't really have a lot of other ways to be entertained. 10 modest homesteads and try and figure out. I don't really remember what they need. I could uh try to throw another bit of entertainment over here. I think I have a blocker there, but Yeah, I can't do much else for entertainment, so I guess we're kind of just waiting. Um, I guess we could try and put more um, entertainment, maybe do kind of like that and throw another one of these guys. Nope, I'll probably have to come one more. Nope, perfect. OK, so it was literally just as easy as that. Pretty short uh, mission. Uh, the next one, I think, is where you start dealing with the copper and stuff. But this one's kind of a, like a tutorial ish, but it's a little more like, hey, you got to do some real stuff. But. Yeah. All right, it's going to be kind of a short one, but I appreciate you spending a few minutes of your day with me. Thanks for checking out the episode. Feel free to leave any. Uh, comments, concerns in the dis in the uh, comment section below. Also, there is a link to Discord and a. Uh, feel free to come over, chat, talk. But until next time, friends, take care of yourselves. Talalo.